I am Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com and today we're going to talk about a different way to estimate your body fat. I was recently told by ultrasound testing that I was 15% body fat and I thought that sounded way too high so I did a little bit of math in my head. So I'm dressed today in an outfit that you can see that I'm fairly lean. I've got no fat on my arms. I've got almost no fat on my belly. Uh, my abdominal circumference is 31 inches. I'm pretty thin uh, but the calculation was 15% and I wanted to come up with a different way to determine if that was actually possible. So what we did, or I did, was we started with body surface area, and I just plugged in my height, 70 inches, and my weight, 165 pounds, to the calculator, which I put a link below, and it told me I have 1.92 meters squared. That's my body surface area. That's one meter by 1.92 meters, or a large beach towel of surface area. It's 100 centimeters by 192 centimeters, so my body surface area is 19,200 centimeters squared, okay? Um, we want to know volume, not uh, the surface area. So I said on average, I know my body fat by ultrasound is nine millimeters in my belly, three millimeters on my chest, four millimeters on my thigh. So I said I'm on average probably six millimeters thick body fat. That's about the thickness of this marker line here. That's fairly thin, so I don't have a lot of fat on my body, so six millimeters is probably fair uh, guess. So I took 19,200 times 0 0.6, and it came up with 11,520 centimeters cubed, or volume of 11 and a half liters of fat, or thickness of fat, okay? One liter is 1,000 cubic centimeters, so that's 11,500, that's very easy, 11.5 liters of fat, okay? A gallon is 3.8 liters, so your gallon jug uh, weighs about 8 pounds, is 3.8 liters, so 3.8 into 11.5 is almost exactly 3 gallons, and I said there's no way in the world I could carry 3 gallons of fat, but at 6 millimeters thick, that's actually what the calculation is. Um, we went ahead and divided um, the 3 gallons, so that's 24 pounds of fat, so I divided 24 into 165 and came up with 14.5% body fat, which is pretty close to the 15% estimated by the ultrasound testing. So I've got two different ways. You don't have to get ultrasound. You can look at your body and say, I've got a you know, half an inch of fat here, or I've got two inches of fat there, and I've got an inch there, and on average, I'm an inch thick, 2.5 centimeters, and plug in the math. So figure out your body surface area, multiply, turn it into centimeters, so it should be in the tens of thousands. Um, multiply it by how many ever centimeters you decided you were thick, and that comes up with your liters of volume, and then again, divide by 3.8, and that tells you how many gallons of fat you have, and then you can find out how many pounds that is, and then divide that into your weight for your body fat area. What I did not calculate was my visceral or organ fat. Now, some people have big bellies, and they may have two or three gallons of fat inside their abdomen, not accounted for by their surface area. So the truck driver who has skinny arms and skinny legs, and he's got a 50-inch waist, he's got five gallons of fat in his organs, but he's got almost nothing under his skin, and that's still going to be counted towards body fat. So I'm going to give you now a second guesstimate way that you can determine how much body fat you have in your organs. And I'm gonna, I said for me, I don't have very much room. If I pictured a one quart container, that's about as much fat as I could imagine hiding in my body. If I had a 40 inch waist, I could probably imagine two gallons of fat hiding in there. But if you'll wait a second, I'm gonna clear the board and I'm gonna show you how to use volume of a sphere to determine your um, amount of fat you have in your organs. Okay, we're back. So if that wasn't confusing enough math, let's go ahead now and do a calculated estimation of how much intra-abdominal fat you have. And this is all made up. I just did this. So if you don't like it, you don't have to like it, but this works for me. So I'm going to say I'm 31 inches. I have just a teeny bit of fat in my belly. Um, let's say a 30-inch man is about as skinny as a man would be. They say he has no uh, fat inside of his organs at all. So 30 inches multiplied by 2.54 centimeters gives me a 76 centimeter circumference of my belly, okay? I can go ahead and figure out volume 
of a circle that has a 76 centimeters by figuring out radius first, but um, I've got a formula that we'll go down and look at below as well that I can just actually plug in the circumference of 76 and it'll calculate my radius and everything. So it, I plug in 76 centimeters and hit calculate and it tells me my volume of a sphere that has a circumference of 76 centimeters is 7,413 cubic centimeters or 7.4 liters in that round sphere. Okay. And I'm going to say that's baseline and we're not a perfect circle by any means, but that's as close as I can get. So if I have a 30 inch waist, 76 centimeters as a man, I'm going to use a baseline of 7.4 liters of organs. That's my intestines and kidney and spleen and liver and everything inside except for fat. Okay. Uh, female, we'll say a 26 inch waist female is a skinny female with not much fat inside and that 66 centimeters plug into the same equation and a female with no intra-abdominal fat has 4.8 liters of organs inside of her without fat. Let's go up and say you're a 40 inch male, so 10 inches bigger than me, um, that's 101 centimeters and you have to use centimeters to get cubic centimeters. So. Um, you got to do that one conversion in your head or with a calculator and plug in that 101 to the calculator and that comes up with 17,398. So 17 liters inside the circumference of 40 uh, centimeters in a man. That's Take that, subtract the 7,400 of organs and that leaves about 10,000 or 10 liters of fat. So that's probably a pretty good guess. 40 inch belly, I've got two and a half gallons of fat. I had said two gallons before, but that's a pretty good estimation, okay? Let's do a 30 inch female, and that's gonna be the same number as that. So 30 inch female has a 76 centimeter um, circumference. Plug it into the equation, and that is 7413. Um, difference between that and 4,800 of organs for a female and that 30 inch female has 2.6 liters or a little bit more than a half a gallon of fat in her belly. Now if you are all intra-abdominal and you're the truck driver and you've got no fat on the outside that's a perfect equation. If you're going to say that you've got an inch of fat on your belly so here's you um, and here's your belly fat around you and you say I've got one inch then that has to be subtracted from the uh, radius. So you can go into that formula as well and type in your uh, circumference and it'll tell you what your radius is. So if we had a 30 inch um, circumference, 76 inch centimeter, it'll tell you what your radius is and then subtract one inch from that and then do the math again. So if it was a, this 40 inch belly guy and he had one inch of fat, then we might say he's got a 38 inch uh, actual inside the abdomen and one inch of fat on the outside. Does that make sense? So um, if you have no fat on the outside, your basketball is all internal fat. If you have a basketball and it's surrounded by an inch of fat, you're going to get a bigger measurement on the outside and you have to make that adjustment. That adjustment would be made in the radius. So at six millimeters, which I had, I wasn't going to make an adjustment. But if you legitimately say you've got 2.54 centimeters or an inch of fat, then you can make that adjustment in your radius. Complicated, probably not accurate, interesting. Uh, if you want to just hold up the milk cartons and say, how many milk cartons am I hiding inside of my belly? That's probably pretty good as well. And within a half a gallon or so, you're probably going to guess pretty good. So a uh, different way to measure body fat. I will do a video in the future talking about MRI and uh, submersion techniques for body fat. But this is fun. It's easy. And it just takes very basic math. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.